DRM is probably the most comprehensive of the digital broadcasting standards, so it can address wide area broadcasting, so you only have a few transmitters in an area, but you can cover a big geographical area. So you can roll out services quite cheaply. The system of digital radio broadcasting, DRM, on, on shortwave and medium wave bands has existed for, for many years. One of the challenges faced in, in rollout of the service and getting the system adopted globally has been the lack of availability of low-cost receivers. We have designed with our friends at CML a radio module which is very, very easy for a manufacturer, probably in the country in question, to just buy in. It's pre-tested so they know it works and so on and all they have to do is to build the rest of the radio, the casework and the, the audio and so on around it. And the hope is that we can stimulate uh, significant uh, markets in the, the countries of interest and that they can get going really quickly. So this module represents a turning point for, for DRM services. It provides the opportunity for manufacturers to, to offer low-cost receivers in markets where affordability is a key issue. Within the next few years, there'll be an estimated 3 billion people within range of a DRM transmitter. And a significant fraction of these people are in regions that have been traditionally underserved and quite remote and isolated. So by bringing the benefits of digital radio to these regions with a low power and low cost radio, we can facilitate audio content in multiple languages. We can enable remote learning and education. We can have an always on emergency warning system. It is an inherently democratic way of spreading information. The module is a fantastic development in the history of DRM and digital radio. And it really bridges the gap between the wish to have digital radio over a lot of countries, big areas, and the ability of the listeners to acquire that little device and linking a lot of these communities, giving them a sense of being part of a wider world. Until recently, there hasn't really been the platforms that are powerful enough to do the digital computation required, and yet low power enough to, to last like an analog radio does. There's been recent breakthroughs in Edge AI platforms. So by choosing a new Edge AI platform, we've benefited from both the enhancements in processing power and the extra low power features that these platforms have given us. So that's been a key factor in the design of this device. In terms of skills that need to be brought in for this project, from a technical perspective, there was the uh, electronics ability, so the board level design and how you might design a product around this module. But then also from a functional perspective, being able to just design a product that can still be used to test the module itself as well. It's been a hugely multidisciplinary project, designing a low cost and low power radio receiver such as this. It requires a lot of RF expertise, electronic design, circuit layout, DSP and embedded software to do this. It also requires a lot of more broader skills, knowledge of the commercial opportunity, the understanding of the customers and their intended use cases, the people who have the contacts in the industry who can help us and we can help them. So being able to have that all on the one roof is a unique selling point for CC and it's a real privilege to have that at our fingertips and that's really helped the project get to where we are today. It has been very rewarding to see how far this project has come and how that initial demo, which was just a proof of concept, opened the doors to integration of all that circuitry into a small chip. The motivation was quite remarkable among Cambridge consultants, engineers. I think without exception, every engineer felt this was really doing some good in the world. The solution we now have is considered by the market to be very innovative and very transformational. I hope to be able to look back when millions of people are all using radios with the solution inside and think, oh, I had quite a lot to do with that. So it's great to experience the best of UK talent being applied to develop such a creative solution that in turn has the potential to be used by much of the world's population. So congratulations on developing such an amazing piece of technology.